What's up, House of Hope? It's the Flavor King, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Flavor KL. Today, man, I'm telling you, we got a mouth banger, man. We got some brown stew chicken and steamed cabbage. Man, this Jamaican dish is packed full of bold flavors, man, full of aromatics. You're going to love it. You got your pots? Now, let's cook. Okay, so today we're going to make some cabbage. Um, what I'm going to do is um, cut up my cabbage. I got a head of, head of cabbage. I'm going to... Um, divide this, take this core out, and cut it up into slices. Um, I take off these outer, outer leaves, they be mostly green. So what I'll do with these is um, cut these up last and I'll add these to the pot first so they can be at the bottom and get most of the heat so they can get these um, tender. So what you wanna do is slice your head of cabbage in half. board sliding okay so when you're board sliding let me tell you what you should do get your paper towel get your dish rag put the dish rag up under there now the slippage should be minimal okay there you go so you split that cab that let it that um cabbage in half like i said i'll put those to the side then i core it i core it when i say i'm coring it i'm taking out that tough piece right there, that little core, I'm taking that out. Nobody wanna chew all day on this cabbage, all right? Then, I just slice it. Let's do some nice slice, little slices on it. Right, you see that? Just do some nice little slices, put it in your bowl. Just like that. That's what we got going on. That's what we do for that cabbage, okay? And once that piece is done, we'll do the next side of that cabbage. Take out that, that little core. And then we'll shred it down. We're not actually gonna fry this, we're gonna steam this down. It'll take about 15 minutes um, to get that steam down with we'll add. Maybe I'll add some, some um, onions to it. I'm dumping it in my, I'm putting this stuff in my bowl outside of the camera shot, but yeah. Oh, that's my lettuce. You know, that's gonna cook down. It might look like a lot, but it'll cook down and have just enough. Okay, so now, I'm on our, our thick pieces. So, you know, you cut that, you still cut those um, tough parts out. Still cut those out. And what I'm gonna do is just roll these up. Roll up the leaf. And then put some little slices on these. So that's what that looks like. So when I put these in the pot, the tough ones will be on top and they'll go to the bottom. The tough ones will go to the bottom and they'll be in more direct contact with that heat at the bottom and they'll cook those and that's what it'll be. We're gonna show you this cabbage, all right? So I've rinsed my cabbage, I rinsed it twice. So this is gonna be ready for the pot. Gonna slice up uh, half an onion. Then 
finely sliced. Just so all the onion flavor can incorporate with the cabbage. So now we'll add, our, we'll add this to the pot, we'll put the cabbage in, and we'll let that steam up. Okay, so I've added um, two tablespoons of oil to my uh, pot. I'm gonna add the onions in. Add in our onions. Let those cook now. Then we'll add in our potato cabbage. You know, we got those tough pieces to the bottom. So that's going to get the most direct heat. Okay. And don't worry, it's not a lot of cabbage. Get it quick down. So, so uh, we'll cover this up, and once it uh, cooks down, we'll start, we'll season it, and it'll be good to go. We probably got about 20, 25 minutes on this cabbage, but no seasoning right now. We put a little bit of water in, just so you can get the steam going, and um, the onions. Then we'll add in some salt and pepper, and get this thing flavored up. Okay, so... Like I said, see that um, cabbage is cooked down. Steaming pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and um, season this up. Probably have about six or seven more minutes. And it'll be good. We're gonna put some all-purpose seasoning. And what all-purpose seasoning is, guys, is salt, pepper, garlic powder. Three, about uh, two tablespoons of garlic powder. One tablespoon of salt. Two tablespoons of black pepper. Well, it depends on, you know, how much you have. But again, everything goes to seasoning, so. A lot of water in there, just steam from the cabbage now. Making it, um, have it on medium high heat. I just turned it down to low. And it's really cooked now, so it's gonna be good to go. Give it a quick taste. Well, that seasoning is right down point. Don't need no more seasoning. We just let that um, simmer for another 10 minutes on a medium low heat, and that's gonna be done. We'll come back and plate all this up. Look, cabbage is done. Is there a particular way that fear influences home buying? I would definitely say fear influences home buying because people are already somewhat intimidated about the process that they're going to have to go through. And also the fear of maybe homes not being there. It's definitely a seller's market and, you know, basically it's more demand than there is supply. Even before you start looking, you want to reach out to a professional immediately. The best steps to start and to make you, you know, more strategic in your moves is specifically to kind of know where you are. So you need to do a checkup on yourself before you get started.
Hey, Dad, I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I, um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. But today, in this video, we're going to be cooking some brown stew chicken. I mean, that's one of my favorite um, Caribbean dishes. But, you know, sure, I just like to eat. You can look at me. I, I, I like to eat. So, so guys, like with a lot of these um, videos, when you're cooking Caribbean food, you got to um, overnight this stuff. So, what we're doing right now is just prepping prepping our veggies for the uh, sauce so we can uh, marinate the uh, chicken in the uh, bell peppers, onions, got a little pepper and the seasoning. Okay, so we're about to get started. Okay, so guys, you can see I already have my chicken. It's been cleaned. Um, I, what I use to clean my chicken is water, vinegar, and lime juice and salt. Okay guys, so let's go over the seasonings that we have. So what we have right here is one red pepper, one green pepper, one yellow bell pepper, a half of a large onion, three stalks of scallions, and one uh, medium sized tomato, as well as one scotch bonnet pepper. Um, my seasonings, I use Two tablespoons of Lowry's seasoning salt. Two tablespoons of Body of Complete Seasoning. One tablespoon of uh, thick, uh, coarse black pepper. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of um, chicken seasoning, Caribbean chicken seasoning. Um, one tablespoon of um, Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of uh, ginger, and one teaspoon of allspice. So, um, yeah, that's what I use. Uh, I mixed it all in this bowl. Thanks, SB, uh, to give these a name. These are SB bowls. These are my SB bowls. So, yeah, everything is in here. So, we'll season our chicken. Oh. How could I forget the most important reindeer of them all? So we got some Maggie. We'll put a couple of dashes on this. This is a staple in the um, Caribbean food. You know, they they use this with everything. So yeah, you gotta get your Maggie's um, seasoning. You don't have to kill it in there, you know, cause a little bit goes a long way, but yeah, you definitely need some of that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, so start putting all of this stuff in the bowl. Look like I'm gonna need a bigger boat. I'm gonna put that scotch bonnet pepper in there. I took out all of the seeds and everything, but um, just put it in for the flavor, not for the heat. But I gotta dice that up too. I wanted to, I dice it up. And then about six or seven dashes of all right, and then you get in there. You gotta mix this all up. And we're gonna let this sit and marinate in all of these veggies overnight. All of the, the bell peppers, the onions, the scallions, the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put that seasoning in here. And um, yeah, we're gonna get it going. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a bigger boat, though. 
My bow is too small. But we'll try to work with it for now. Dropping all my seasoning out of there. But yeah, I'm gonna get my bigger bow. I'll be back. All right, so look, I didn't have a, I had a bigger bowl, but slightly bigger. So we'll go ahead and season up the rest of these chickens. Get it marinating in the fridge. Every time we're looking at some hearty eating. Look, I'm gonna let this marinate for 24 hours. So we won't get cooking this until tomorrow. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. She gonna look good. Got them colors in there. Looks so vibrant. Yes. Oops. Mix this up. We we'll put it back in the same bowl. Let it marinate overnight. And then, like all of these seasonings, man, it's gonna sink down in that chicken. It's gonna get down in them bones and that brown stew. And it's gonna be lovely. All right. So yeah. Now this is how you should be looking. Now I'm gonna cover that up with some uh, foil or some plastic wrap. And I'm gonna let it sit in the freezer, I'm in the refrigerator for 24 hours. A lot of times it's easy to attach your identity to something you do or somewhere you work because you don't like who you are. In regards to getting to know who you are, one piece that people have to really be ready to is, is look at themselves honestly. A lot of times we wanna sell ourselves an idea of ourselves rather than who we really are. I work in the number one cable news network in the number one market in the nation, and I'm the only full-time African-American woman in my newsroom. Being inspired is really saying that at the end of the day, no matter what's happening in my world or around me, it's bigger than me. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna get started on this um, brown stew chicken. What I've done already, is let chicken marinate overnight for 24 hours and all of those um, uh, veggies and um, seasonings and stuff like that. So you're gonna have a lot of goodness in this meal. So, um, here's the uh, meat that's been seasoning for 24 hours. It's been cooking in its juices. Let me raise that up so you can see. Look, this thing has been marinating and now it's good to go. Um, what we're gonna do is move over to the uh, stove uh, we'll have a pot on with some with some uh, grease in it, and we're gonna brown these up a little, and then we're gonna get this stewed chicken ready. Now I have my pot heating up, got on a medium high heat. Uh, we're gonna let this pot heat up, and then we're gonna brown the chicken. We're gonna brown the chicken, you know, pieces at a time. We have so much in here, so we're gonna brown that up. And then um, once we got it all browned up, we're gonna put it back into the pot and let it stew down. Okay, we got the pot, it's, it's um, screaming hot right now. So I'm gonna add about an inch of oil to the bottom of the pan. But um, just getting it brown. I know what you wanna do. 
It's like you want to knock all of those pieces off of the chicken. You don't want to fry those, it's going to burn. So, you know, you just knock that stuff off. Drop it in there. Knock it off, drop it in. That's what you want right there. That's the sound you want to hear. Okay? So you're knocking off all those onions, bell peppers, thyme. I'm not going to cook this all the way through because it's going to stew down in the pot. So you just want to brown this up. I'm going to put all of these in there and brown it up. So we'll be back when it's all brown. So just about finished browning our chicken. So um, that's what your brown chicken is going to look like. Not too, it's not fully cooked, but it's brown and golden brown. And it's still doing the same thing over here. Okay, so we're going to add the chicken back to the pot. Add all that back in. Along with all of the seasonings, we're going to put all of that back in. Put all of that back in. We'll add our water. Turn this back up on high because um, we want this water to stop boiling right away. Um, I have it hot already. I have it boiling on my other iron. You can't see it over here because I have it boiling already. So I can just keep adding hot water to the stew chicken. Hot water, hot water. Got that in there. Looking good, so we'll bring that to a boil. Don't worry, this, the bottom was not burnt. That's gonna all cook up into the flavor of this chicken once the water stop boiling and, and it stop pulling those um, renderings off the bottom of the pot and it'll all be infused into this chicken. All that was seasoning down there. Two cups. Maybe two cups of ketchup. All of this will cook into that that brown stew chicken. And remember, it's always about the flavoring. So you always want to taste your gravy. Make sure it's seasoned properly. That's seasoned very well right there. Because if the water bland, that means your chicken is going to be bland. So make sure you taste that that stew that you got in there right now. If you need to add anything, go ahead. You know, it, all of the seasoning is going to be to your taste. So just taste it. Make sure it's seasoned. When it's seasoned, that means your chicken is going to be seasoned too. We'll be back. So um, in this dish right here, in my Pyrex bowl, um, I've added some of the uh, stewed chicken broth from the pot along with one part cornstarch and one part um, water. So I put a cup of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Uh, Mix that up, added it to our bowl, added some browning, uh, some browning sauce to get that dark rich flavor. And then we're gonna add this to the pot. So this is the browning. I added this to our bowl. That's gonna give you that nice brown uh, appearance, nice rich look. Uh, Grace browning sauce. So yeah, I added that uh, back here. I skimmed off the grease that we used to uh, that rose to the top. I uh, skimmed that off. This is going to be added to the pot once it's once it's about 15 more minutes to go to cook, and that's going to thicken that cornstarch. It's going to thicken that gravy. And you'll have a nice brown stew chicken. Okay, so I added the browning sauce our stew liquid from the pot and that's what we have right now we got the nice rich brown dark gravy with the uh, cornstarch in it and we're going to add that to the pot mix that in i think on this chicken we got about 10 more minutes 15 more minutes to go and that's a done deal 
That chicken is done. It's about 45 minutes, you know, I'm not including the prep time, but from, from the refrigerator to cook time, about 45 minutes. You um, took it out of the refrigerator, let it um, get back to room temperature. I will let that come back to a boil and that'll be done. But well, that's gonna be soup right there, baby. Ooh, I know those kitchens smelling lovely over there. Now, if you found value in these videos, hook a brother up. Man, look, like, share, and subscribe to Cooking with Flavor KL. And look, I don't wanna be alone. So tune in next week. Same place, same time. Until then, just do what you do. But do it with flavor. Peace.